Okay, wow, this is like pre air. Look how beautiful this looks. This would be a banger like for the NES Pursuit. Dang. Clue, clue, land. 119, I'll say 65. How much is this guy? 20 bucks? And yes, I'll absolutely take this for 20 bucks. This is a NECA Nightmare Before Christmas. Good start. So we're back at the swap meet and I have a feeling today is gonna be absolutely insane. We heard of a trade coming in with a bunch of NES games. So we're gonna go to my buddy's store very soon and check out those. And I've already got wind of something going down at one of the first booths. Let's go. Dusty. I heard, I heard you can't hear me. Right Loki interested in this, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you, I, I'm not nailing anymore. I'm stapled. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. Uh oh, uh, Dusty, I will be honest. There's something under your truck right now. Junk. Junk truck? Hey, besides the marble. Oh, my. Yo. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yo. Oh, yep. All of this, 100%. Okay. Okay, I'm in, I'm in. Last week I got Genesis stuff from him as well, so I'm guessing this is probably, well, that is a clean copy uh, from the same guy as well. Whoa, this is heavy, so this has gotta be CIB. I'm gonna look at this in a sec. Yep, this is garbage. it. CIB, hey garbage. bro, you collect garbage or what, bro? Hey, you better, you ready for the NES trade a little later that yeah. came into the store? All right, all right. Ooh, and then a, a PlayStation right there. I'm gonna grab that as well. Oh, let's see, Dusty also said there was something in here, which I did not know. What could it be? Let's get Ben. I'm gonna guess. Uh, I don't know. Come closer, Ben. NES. I'm gonna say NES. There. It's tape shut. Oh, a PS3. Is it the? Whoa! So, here you go. Backwards compatible. One, For those you don't two, know, three, count four. four. Further proof why you make relationships. I did not know that was coming. I had no idea this was coming. It just. I showed up. Dusty actually called me. He's like, Hey, I have something I think you might like. And there it was. I think, it's, I think it's funny how like we, you don't normally see yeah. them everywhere. And like in the past month, we've seen like 40 of these things. They've been at like every oh, other booth more, we go to. This one's more booty, that one's got girthy. That oh yeah, this is a different one. This I is, was like, wait a minute. That's man. a different one. I like that though. That one kind of theme seems thick boy. And then you got, what is this? Indominus, is that what it's called? Indominus with uh, missing a limb. He's seen some things. Oh, oh there you God, go. There go. You do have a small head. Let me see. Dang, master chef. Let's go. Look at that. Our homie just got this for five. You know, this is the second person we've seen in like a month who found Symphony of the Night here for five dollars. Yeah, someone else did recently. Oh, nice. So there you go, ladies and gents. It still happens. What is that, Ricky? WWE Championship. Is it World. supposed to be that? Yeah, it's supposed to. Oh wow. But Ricky, look what I found. What'd you find? A Hot Wheel Volkswagen T1 Gator. Hey, look, that's kind of cool. Ooh. Look what it says in the back. It says the thing from Stewart. Look what I can do. <laughs> you know, remember that from Mad TV? Yeah. I'm gonna sit here and eat a cookie. So this is an interesting box. What are these from? Synapse Software. Oh, this is all old Atari. Wow. Look at this Orc Attack for home computer software. Okay. Wow. This is like pre early. Look how beautiful this looks. Slime. So I don't think, oh, the games are in them. I think they're just extremely light. Oh, it's for the Atari 400 and 800. Wow. Wow, 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 dig, dug. Wow, holy moly. I never see Atari 400 stuff. I, to the point where I didn't even know what I was looking at. Let me kind of take a peek. What is this? I'm gonna pull it out, hold on. Dusty, I love Dusty. All right, I picked them all up. So. I ended up getting, uh, we, it's, it's kind of, it was kind of a crapshoot for both of us. Like she originally was like 300 and I was like, I'll try half on that. The, some, some, there is some pretty decent games in here. Uh, really cool cover on Seamus. Slime is beautiful. Chicken. Uh, this orc is awesome. Orc attack. I do like this as well. It's like all the, you know, Atari references and operating systems and how to run things and how different code works. So super fun, uh, super unique. Again, kind of taking a shot in the dark on some of it. Uh, ourselves as well so we'll see i'll put the paid 150 and value here jared wherever it goes he'll do everything oh and i should have said our count for nes right now is you're busy like me you're living life like me you're busy i know you are so today's sponsor hello fresh has got you covered yes 
I love HelloFresh. We've worked with them before. They're amazing. Whether you're trying to save money, eat better, or stress less, or all of the above, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. Join America's number one meal kit today and say hello to your most delicious year yet with fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you'll like, delivered right to your door. Plus, now you can treat yourself to a pair of our delicious meals with free dessert for life. Get one free dessert item per box while your subscription is active. I'd like to admit that I love dessert more than most things in life. Make delicious food a priority this winter with quick, convenient recipes delivered right to you. Just choose your recipes and select a delivery date. HelloFresh handles the meal planning and the shopping. So all you have to do is open your box of pre-portioned ingredients and get cooking. Give HelloFresh a try and choose from 30 plus calorie smart or protein smart recipes each week. Packed with fresh ingredients, everything arrives pre-portioned and right at your doorstep for less hassle and more mm -hmm. And don't forget when you do try HelloFresh, you unlock free dessert for life as long as your subscription is still active. Also, stay subscribed to this channel. Click the link in the description or use my code and get 16 free meals plus dessert for life while your subscription is active. Oh, and I should have said our count for NES right now is 162. So the Swami today is going extremely well. Things like CIB Genesis, CIB Menacer, weird random Atari 400 and 800 stuff. This is crazy. Now we're gonna stay here for a little bit longer, but then I'm really looking forward to adding NES games to our NES hunt in our collection. All right, so with 162 NES games in our count, Ricky just picked up something else and then we're gonna go get NES games soon. What'd you just buy? A Switch for a hundo. Uh, nice, and what games are in there? Uh, Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. Nice, dude. Is this, a, no, this obviously isn't a light. Wow, just no, no dock, obviously. Yeah, no, just no broken. Inside. I have an extra dock, Ricky. Oh, did you buy I, a broken switch just now? No, no, no. It boots, it's it just boots. physically. I just, have to put, I just have to fix this. It should oh. be bad. Look, it works. Nice, Ricky. Right? Dang, bro, you're like a collector of some sort. Just got myself a stack. So this, I never see the Michael Jackson CD like this, the 25th anniversary of Thriller. Uh, these are all sealed, by the way. Resident Evil on DVD, this is all DVD. And then you got Tron's also with the, oh, Blu-ray also plays on PS3. That's awesome, lenticular cover, Howard the Duck sealed, Independence Day sealed, Commando sealed, Jurassic Park Trilogy sealed, and did you know, did you know that somebody died in this movie? The actor, you can actually watch the scene. Uh, Jared can put it in if you want. And uh, it's a little dark, but uh, it's, a, it's a something that really happened. Um, a person filming died while carrying a child on this. Uh, I think both of them died, if I'm not correct. Um, terrible, terrible uh, reality, but uh, crazy. Okay, so I did not know this when I bought this. About 50 bucks. 50 bucks, 42 bucks, 40 bucks, wow. Bolo for sure. Oh, what happened? You said you forgot something? bro. No, I was trying to double dip. Oh, I love this. All right, how much you want? Is it all in here? I don't know, check. I okay, let me look, Ricky, let me see. I got you, Doug. Yes. Lethal Enforcers. Let's see, ready, Doug? What, what's your guess? You think it's all in here? He's gonna say yes. Oh, uh, yes. Did it come with a box, though, the game? What's that? No, right? Oh, no. a 30. Right, it didn't come with a box for the game, ever? Because that wouldn't make sense, it wouldn't fit. Not sure. All right. How much? What do you give me? Quanto cuesta? Let me, let me, I don't know what it's worth, dog. I mean. Dude, I thought you were the video game expert. Oh, yeah, 42.97 on eBay. Huh? I don't know what it goes for. Take your guess and we'll look it up. Everybody guess, what is this worth? Everybody guess right now. I'll $119. Say, 119? I'll say 65. In dollars In Compton, five. All right, we're going to look it up and find out right now. There it is. Lethal, lethal and Force. It looks like we got like a Genesis. Dude, Genesis this, Pursuit right never now. Never seen that, dude, but it's sick. I've seen this before, but um, yeah, they go for like 90, 100 ish bucks or so. I paid him 70. 200, bucks. I know. I paid him 70. Just keeping that relationship, you know, this is a really cool box. Right, Salty for 150. Yep, Wax. It's mine, okay. it's mine, dude. And now the crew and I are heading to Retro Games Plus, again, where Chris said there is an NES trade that took place. There should be some good games. Blake is going to open it early. There is no guarantees, but we're headed there now. Backdoor access into retro game. They're not even open yet. I'm so VIP. VIP. And with Blake, I mean, anytime you see Blake. Can't get you, any better. And you don't smile, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> there is just goodness of plenty. Set up everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Guys are a little early. Oh, yeah. What is it? An hour and a half or away from opening time? Uh, but okay. I need to get. Oh, that Punisher shirt. Yo, yo, yo. NES. Ooh, uh, kind of C. Oh no, dang oh. it, not a real CIB. Dang it. 
I don't even know if I have Ninja Guide in here. Castlevania 2, Double Dragon 2, Turtles, Mighty Bomb Jack, Mario. Ooh, Narc. I actually really love Narc. Let me look around. Ricky, look. What? What? Uh, I mean, sir, can I see uh, that Lolo 2 right yeah, there, yeah. please? And remember who did offer us 20% off on the podcast? Oh, Chris, Chris did. Yeah, Sucker. Yeah, he just offered me 40% off. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, excuse me, sir. It has to be under the table, though. Lolo, two, let's go, baby, let's go, baby, let's go. I have Wild Gunman, uh, five screw and three screw. Perfect. That will probably be one right there. Let me check to make sure I have it. I'm getting Lolo, two, putting us at 163 NES games. <laughs> And dude, we need one of the most classic music. Ooh, and it is clean. Kid it, Chris, looking good. And I'll be honest, Chris, Chris, hey, 30, 23 bucks uh, on price charting? 25? Chris, good job. Good job, my man. 20% off, suck it. This puts them at 164 NES games. <sighs> Jeez Louise, 2005, yeah. Bucky O'Hare, Dead Eye Duck. What the? Mm! That looks unreal. I love it. Hey, Chris did tell me. Uh, I mean, he told me I don't need to confirm with you, but he said he would sell me this today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, today, though. <laughs> While he's not in the store. Like 100 bucks, right? I mean, honestly, I'll give you guys 101 just to do you guys a just favor. Like, I know it's worth like 103. One of the most obscure... And this is the control deck. It's actually really clean too. Really nice. This would be a banger like for the NES Pursuit. You know what I mean? The proof. Usually these are oh, removed. Oh man. Like, Yo. I wonder how much Chris would, not obviously not like trying to get 20% off, but like if we called him, we're like, April, hey, what's like your like low on this? Like, are you trying to move this? Have do you guys know if you've had this for a while? No idea. No idea. Okay. <laughs> you just work here. Yeah, I just work here. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever see the Toys R Us bins when they used to be like 50 bucks on the clearance? Items? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, dang, I could have gotten one of these for 50 bucks. That's how much I paid for Curtis's love. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, what are you looking at? All right. So, so far, I'm looking at Gremlins 2. By the way, the soundtrack, Sunsoft, on that is. Beautiful, and the game's like difficult, but I wouldn't say it's like make you stop playing difficult. Yeah, and, and then, then GI, GI Joe, Joe, the Atlantic Factor. And honestly, I was looking. I'm mean, honestly, I was looking at straight up price charting. Chris's prices are under price charting, which is nice. That's very nice to see. Ooh, what do else? we have Monster Party? I thought that's the one you. Eat. Oh, I got Monster in my pocket. Monster in my pocket. Oh, I don't think you do. Here you go. I want a Maniac Mansion oh. too, but I gotta go. see if we have it. I don't think we have that. There you go. Let's go. You want both of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta check uh, to see if we have these. I don't think we have these two, but oh, dude, Maniac Mansion music too is so fun. Monster Party, let's go! Retro Games Plus coming in. <gasps> What'd you find over there? If there's one game I need, CIB. <laughs> oh, RC Pro Am. Such a great game. Oh my. Da 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 da. Okay. Son of a darn it. Spending money. Just roaming around the back of Chris's. Look at this, Ricky. What is it? Oh, what? Wow, dude, the game's not in The Famicom either. version. Dang it. Dang it, I wonder if you would sell just the box because it's so cool. Look at this. All oh, these Neo Geo Pocket Color games. Hey, bro, are these not for sale or what? This is probably Chris's collection. Too bad. I'm a buyer. No, <laughs> so check it out. This is one of, of the of the boxed ones. I grabbed the other games out there as well. RC Prom and American Gladiators. Again, where we have mini box gaming for their their awesome their cases that they make. But once in a while, I'll buy true CIB if I have to because if they're games that I'm like obsessed with that are some of my favorite games, you gotta play American Gladiators. Like it is such a fun game, such a hidden gem, fun two player game, amazing music, super good music, and you gotta hear it right now. The scream when you die. Play that scream, Jared. So these two knocked off as well. For CIB, the other ones I got, we got more. Ben, look at this, was just eluding us. I saw that. Dang. Clue Clue Land. Or as Curtis's family knows, they call him the Clue Clue Clan. Whoa! 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 Oh All right. Look at this freaking Street Fighter. IBM Tandy. Oh my gosh. So it's not the Street Fighter you know and love if you're a Street Fighter series guy, 
but wow, when I saw this box, I was flipping out. He's also got Doom and this. This is just box only on this when one. He, when he found that at the estate sales, uh, maybe a couple months back, he was insane. He just kept stacking them up, and they were just crazy titles. Oh, this is awesome. And again, this one's empty, but this is cool because it has the bonus for Mega Man and Mega Man 3. I actually like this one better right now, just the OG straight up Street Fighter. I'll see if uh, there's any interest in Blake selling this one. Ricky just found this one, Muscle, Dude. on the list for ones that we need. I actually used to love this show, Ultimate Muscle. Great show if you haven't watched it. I actually really like the game. The game's great. Now, now, is it like technically, hey, you know who we're buying these from? Who? Technically, Retro Games Plus and Blake. Remember Blake said that um, the NES sucks and he it likes does. no games on it? Yeah, I don't, there's not a single game I can think of that I like. That's perfect. At this store, we like to pay based on goodness. So you think this game <laughs> sucks, so we'll give you a buck for that, two bucks for that game, and I think 40 cents for this. What about like 120 for all of it? Uh, okay. So Chris is back giving prices, huh? <laughs> so check this out. Chris's Instagram for their store, they have a counter. So 11959. Ricky, let's see. Go ahead and follow him. Let's see. Does it work and how long does it? Oh! oh! Instantaneous. Dang, that's actually rad. I like that. Make sure you guys don't follow, by the way. Please put what us at 170. You said 171. 171. But now we're gonna head over to Ben's car because Ben has been in fact, yes, voluntarily cleaning every NES game we collect. What a legend. Benjamin the legend. So you have gone through and you've literally cleaned every game and did you open them too? Oh yeah, I cleaned the outside of every game and I opened each one, I polished the pins and I even tested and I also took pictures of all six sides. Now Ben, let's be very clear. Did <laughs> yeah. we tell you to do this or ask you to or make oh, no. or anything? No, this okay. was me volunteering because you know what? When the Pixel Game Squad needs their games clean, you step up to the plate, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Yes. And now after a long day, Ricky and I are headed back to my house to go fill all our loose games with the mini boxes that we got. We are so excited to do this. Let's go. And here we go. Mini box gaming. Let's go a fresh giant bash batch miniboxgaming.com check them out oh my gosh let's freaking go so ben's games that he cleaned are missing so the wall doesn't look that nice right now but yes all of these loose games now and including these loose games will have a home with mini box gaming oh my gosh these look so nice let's go i'll give you guys an update very soon telling you guys one of my favorite things in the world to do is sit here and box these and put them in these boxes while listening to just like banger soundtracks silver surfer nes unbelievable soundtrack i still got plenty more to do to do i'll show you guys when i'm done i gotta say right now looking at this i am i was like getting emotional doing this i had video game music on mega man music came on some of the sentimental mega man music came on while i was doing this and it was like hitting me that like this is happening and we're doing it right this time around. The first time on the show, yeah, we were collecting video games, but it just felt different. There was no organization. There was no cleanliness to it. It was just if we find, how we find, whatever, which is fun. But this has just really made me feel very nostalgic and dare I say very emotional for my childhood and something I never, ever could have imagined. Like this happening in this way, the way it's shaping up already. Last thing on business is I picked this up from Curtis a few weeks ago, but it's beat up and it's beat to crap. I ordered a plastic protector for it. Let's put this puppy on. Here we go, let's let this guy in. Ooh la la. Let's go, let's go, perfect fit, oh yes. I love you, Robert. Whenever you get these, make sure you pull off the film. A lot of times people will be like, why are they so dirty? But look at that. Oh, baby. And that, my friends, is why you get a plastic protector. I know it's really shimmery and shiny from there, but this thing will keep it in shape. 